Okay guys, today we're going to remove all the wheels on the van. We're going to open up the outer bead, get the vacuum cleaner and suck out all those uh, balancing beads in there that don't seem to work. So one, two, three. Now to get them into the barn and get those beads out. So all four tires are off by the magic of Im electronic impact wrenches. Good old DeWalt XR, half inch. And we're off to the barn to fix them all. Take the beads out. I have new tires for the back to go on, so they're coming completely off. All right, we'll see you later. So are you guys sick of this yet? Here we go again. First we gotta pull out the air valve. the center of the Schrader. I'm going to lose this because I put a lot of uh, bead sealer on that. You guys have seen it before. The top piece. The cross piece. If you didn't see it before I watched my other video, there's a nut welded to a plate underneath my bench. Alright, alright. Where's my pusher? There's the pusher. Can you see that alright? Looks like you're aiming low. Alright. Now, I did find out that you want to be careful with your soap where you're pusher is going to be, because you don't want it to skid. My son-in-law and I mounted a couple of lawn tractor tires in here last night, and they were miserable. Okay, watch her go. Get this pushed in as she goes down. Come on. My free tire bead breaker because um, I installed this whole pusher system years ago. Now, I, guys have told me to say this over and over again. The wheel has a trough in it that the bead of the, the tire has to go into so that you can get it up and over the opposite side because you can't stretch a bead. People say they're stretching the bead on. No, that's that's not true at all. It's totally false. They might think that's what they're doing, but you're not stretching that tire. It's way too tough. These tires are going up for sale because I brought brand new ones. So, get that in there. Get her down under the bead here. Down the wheel, the wheel hump, bump, whatever it is called. I gotta watch out for my valve over here. I'll leave that guy lay in there so he stays. I don't want to ruin my valve. I did put a new valve in this. There she comes. And they really come pretty easy. Now that it's halfway, this whole bead can slide this way and come off this side of the tire. So I just wanted to re-explain that. don't need to hold it after you've got it that far. She's pretty much oh. So that's one side. And, uh, she's right there. But there she comes. Now see that was extremely simple and easy to get that part off. I gotta bust the beat on the other Another side. quick explanation while we're here. I want to tell you that sometimes the back side of the wheel is harder to get off because if you see it's flat for quite a ways here. So when I push this down, this bead probably isn't going to break. I'm going to have to rotate the tire and push it off where it's uh, 
been sealed on, but that's normal. You just can't, on the other side, they drop off into that big trough and they pop right off. This side's a little bit more difficult most of the time, so I just thought I'd tell you that. And let's see if my uh, assessment is correct. can see it's being real tight because that wire bead is still up tight in here and it hasn't got any slack to move so I don't care how much power you got. So the only alternative... Okay, at the last push I got the bead to stay down a little bit so I'm betting this one takes it off. Much tighter on that side, that's why I just got to start a little more. All right, not a biggie. So, I've been advocating trying to get these things up and off the front because see, I've got that bead down in the trough, and I bring it off the front of the wheel here as you should. And get that down on the wheel here. That's a little work, but it's doable. Knock some of the sludge off my wheels. Okay, so this this guy is going to the dumpster. Actually, he's going to eBay or something. Um, I need to get those balancing beads out of there, though, which you can see them down in there. So, I think all I'm going to do get out the handy dandy little work portable. Is that what it is? Yeah. My wife's favorite little vacuum cleaner. So unfortunately, the balancing beat just did not work in my car. Take these to a good dealer when I get them uh, the beads out of all the tires here. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm here's an experiment I tried. You know, you guys have seen me, if you've watched me mount tires and dismount tires in the past, I always have trouble getting the beads to pop onto the wheels, especially uh, if the tires have been stored flat, these inner beads get squeezed together. So these have been sitting like this with spreaders for a few weeks while I've been waiting to get this done. So, that wheel I just took off was already cleaned and everything. It does have balancing bead compound on it a little bit. I'm not balancing bead on bead seal, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything to it. All right, so there's the wheel. Tires go on and off from the front. Make sure you don't have any crap in your uh, seating areas here. Yeah, I think that's fine. They look clean.
This is a little bit short of a stem, but it is what it is. I'm just going to put that cap on there to keep crap from getting into the, the valve. And I'm going to take my spacers out here and see how the tire sits. Oh yeah! She's bald still. Alright, so I'm putting these on black wall. And wipe the dust and dirt and whatever that it got on those rubber, the tire beads themselves off. They're both beads, so I don't know any better way to express it. And the soaping actually helps uh, protect the sealing edge of the tire where it sits in the seal edge there. Now, the trick to do is to make sure you get your uh, and you can see here. Right, see, she went right over there. And this guy will go on like gravy. One more time, get her down. Stretch the tire up and over. Get her down in. Holy cow, I got that. Almost on there with my hand. I can do the rest of this on that with my little spoon. So I said I'm going to have to get him just a little at a time. Yeah, she's gone. Going right on. One more. And we'll have her. There you go. I got lucky. I got lucky. A little jiggling around. Woo! Now, after you mount any tire and you get her up to pressure, soapy water. Do your leak testing, and it will bubble immediately. You won't have any issues. You won't have to guess whether you got leaks. She'll froth right up, get all foamy and white, and that's fine. Backside. They will leak sometimes for just a little while before they're trying to seed in. I've had that almost with a lot of them. Yeah, I got lots of water and soap in there. I know these tires, these wheels are awful, aren't they? But they really aren't as bad as they look. They're a little crusty on the surface. I beat on them and get the flake off before I get them. All right. Phew, that rag smells like beer. My son-in-law spilled one last night and we wiped it up. All right. I think he's up to about right pressure. Too. And you know, be neat about it. Clean up. Wipe your tires down. Make them look nice. Don't leave a mess. My wheels are, actually this is really cleaning up my wheels nice. I gotta make sure I put my uh, cap back on that. So, I got the other two wheels all off, new tires mounted. One of them I had to blast on with lacquer thinner, which isn't anything new. Move that guy a little farther. See if we can get this. This tire was recently mounted by me. Maybe it's another video. But I use soap and water on it is all, so it should uh, blast right off. I'm just going to suck out the beads and. I'm 
try it again. Get another bite in here. Maybe I need to try my pusher with a sharper tip. All right, I already uh, I got that bead broke just by using extra pieces of wood, and uh, sucked out the beads. Now, because the other far bead is still stuck onto the rim really well, I can lift the tire by putting pieces of wood under the edge and hopefully that'll help me catch the bead again and get this back on without using that lacquer thinner which I did on one of them. Yeah there she goes. Just like that. Beat off on that second tire, and what I did last time is I just jammed the board in there like so, pulled it open, knocked all the beads down in here. Bead fail. Bouncing bead fail, I call this. Get them all. I can. the sucker. Pop that bead back on again like I did before. Alright. Alright. Oh. These guys always go easy. Pretty. Last time I got this one on a muscle my way by hand, I just started that over. And around she goes. Cycle iron here, and it's past halfway, so it won't pop back off. I haven't got in there too deep. Come on, We're almost there. How about right here? Boom. All right, now hopefully, this will work as nicely as the last one did. We'll just raise it up on here. The bottom bead is still caught. I didn't take the valve out of this. Oh, yep. All right, well, tomorrow off to the tire store to get these uh, balanced up correctly. I found out what the pulse in my van brakes were. It had just been sitting too long in the cast iron. Uh, the shoes had made big rust patches on the front rotors. So I'm just going to go after them with my uh, little orbital sander and clean up what I can on the front where you can see it in the back. I'll just, I know where the patch is located because of the existing one and I'll just stick some sandpaper in my fingers and we'll rock it around and I think it'll wear off just fine. Right. 
Got these tires for $242 shipped. Right to my door. They are Hankook Optimo 724s, H724s, 215 75R15s. All the reviews that they got online from all the owners were all five stars. Everybody loves these. I'll have the tire guide correctly uh, check for leaks. Soapy water of my friend. These tire, these wheels are really rusty, so I'm concerned around the stems of the valves, but they uh, don't seem to be a problem. So that's it, guys, for today. Off to the balancing shop tomorrow. I got all four tires. I got tires for sale. Okay, God bless, take care, stay safe.